What is up everyone, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing great, and I hope you're all staying safe. Please excuse me if I look really tired today, but last night I fell asleep watching the TV and MatPat woke me up at 4am. Here is an accurate representation of exactly what happened. Hello internet, welcome to Game Theory, the show that speeds through scientific- but I need to look more lively because I have really exciting news for us today. You guys had so much questions about Shadow's cloud gaming PC service that I decided, you know what, I need to answer those questions. So I contacted Shadow and asked them whether they would like to supply the channel with a Shadow PC for testing, and they agreed. So before we even move into this video, I want to tell you guys I am running Gigabit and I have pretty much the perfect internet setup for this. I did want to do a test on a much slower internet connection today with taking my phone outside, turning on mobile data and connecting to that. However, it's raining, so we're gonna need to move that on to another day. We're gonna make a little series out of this. We're gonna try a bunch of different things on the Shadow PC while we have it for testing. Oh yeah, and here are the specs of the Shadow PC. We have 12 gigs of RAM, an Intel Xeon E5 V3 at 2.5 gigahertz, and a GTX 1080, so not bad. Last night, uh, before I fell asleep watching TV, I spent quite some time testing Shadow's gaming PC on games that you guys requested. I created a community poll asking you guys what you wanted to see tested, and it was quite clear that Beat Saber was not the prominent game. However, quite a few of you wanted to see Beat Saber on Expert Plus, so we're gonna do that in just a second. Now, our servers are located in the United Kingdom, London, and I'm in Ireland, so those two are like quite close together, which is quite a bit closer than what we were on last time, which was United States servers. So I'm really happy to say that latency for me isn't an issue anymore. Now, I'm not sponsored by Shadow PC. They did give us this PC for testing, but all these opinions are completely my own and I will be giving you guys the straight up numbers. All of these numbers are exactly as is and you will see them in the video. So my latency testing was actually really good. Now for me in Ireland from the United Kingdom, being that close to the server, I get about 49 to 51 milliseconds of latency. And that is the straight fact. On virtual desktop, that's how much it's showing me. For me, that is actually pretty damn good for playing games. I I cannot complain at all. That's actually really, really good. And to me, I don't actually feel that latency. Now, I know that hardcore Beat Saber players might think that that's too much. However, for me, I really didn't feel it. Now, if you turn on all the like hardcore latency settings in virtual desktop, that latency does jump to about 60 and it does turn red. However, under 60 at that 51, 49 millisecond mark, it's actually really, really good. And you will see that in a second in the gameplay. Now, Shadow does have their own service for VR. It's currently an alpha and it's on side quest. It's not really ready for the quest two yet. A lot of people, when they install it, say that they have a zoomed in screen. Yesterday I installed it and I felt like I was on something. It's not zoomed in for me, it's quite the opposite. It's zoomed out. So for these tests, we will not be using that. But I do have some very good things to say about it. Compression is pretty much entirely mitigated when using that app, and so is latency. It feels a lot better than virtual desktop. However, as I said, it's not really ready and I, I it kind of hurts my brain trying to see anything through it. So we won't be looking at that today because I want to show you guys the best possible experience you can have with this. So let's begin the games. You guys made it quite clear that you wanted some hardcore games tested. Half-Life Alex was first, and I spent about an hour in Half-Life Alex last night testing this out for you guys, and let me tell you, 50 milliseconds of latency, Half-Life Alex, 90 FPS, no issues. The game was running somewhere about 90 FPS the entire time. It was dropping, however. Do keep in mind, though, that I turned down none of the graphical settings. So imagine what you could do if you did turn those down. What I failed to mention here, however, and what I actually didn't notice, is that Virtual Desktop was actually set to low. Completely playable, and a lot of people in the comments section said they had the exact same experience. With graphics set on highest, fluctuating around that 90 FPS mark, so that you could get your 90 hertz out of your Oculus Quest 2. Game, entirely playable, scared the living hell out of me multiple times because I'm a and no matter how many times I play this game, I'm going to get scared of the exact same things every goddamn time. But it looked beautiful as ever. Compression was actually a lot better here than it was in Beat Saber when I did my testing but 
Really happy with that. Half-Life Alex runs really well. If you guys want Shadow PC to play Half-Life Alex and you're near a data server, totally go for it. I'm really happy to say entirely, entirely playable. A few of you wanted Blades and Sorcery, so we're going to test that out live on this video later on as well. But before we move on to Beat Saber, Blades and Sorcery, The Forest, and all the other games that I want to test out live on this video, I do want to mention that I did also try a flat screen game for everybody interested in the flat screen game performance, because of course, Shadow is a gaming service, and there is one game, one game, that will absolutely push every PC to the max. Cyberpunk 2077. 4K? Nah, no chance. Don't don't try. It, it'll give you like 30, 30 FPS. It's playable, don't get me wrong. It's it's playable, but it'll dip below 30 in certain points, and it automatically set itself to ultra for some reason. So I went 1080p medium settings. 60 FPS, higher than 60, fluctuating around that 60 FPS mark. Completely playable, really happy with it. Latency, not an issue. I can't tell you exactly what the latency was because I have no overlay for Steam VR. However, completely playable. Also, this is with all my settings in the Shadow Client set to max. So my bitrate was set to max. My internet connection can handle this. So if you guys want this for Cyberpunk, 1080p, medium, 60 FPS, completely playable. But without further ado, let's move straight into the actual gameplay because I want to show you guys exactly what Beat Saber is like and Blades and Sorcery because those are two that you guys really wanted to see. And of course, Minecraft because you guys wanted to see that as well. So let's jump right in. So as you guys can see right now, this is the Shadow PC. I'm on it right now. I'm in the PC client for Shadow PC. You can see all our games here and we are also going to be playing Boneworks because you guys wanted that as well. So Without further ado, let's jump right into the Oculus Quest. The uh, microphone audio will not be the best here because I don't have any mic connected to the Quest. So as you can see right there, just like I said, we're fluctuating around the 51 millisecond latency mark. It jumps up a little bit depending on, well, everything that's getting displayed. Okay, so we're gonna play this on Expert Plus because this is a rather simple one. I'm a living legend. That's an extra beat saver in the morning. <laughs> hey, I got an A. Okay, look, I only missed 38. That's not too bad. You guys, see that? See, I'm not, I'm not that bad. There you guys go. Really, really well on Beat Saber. This thing does really goddamn well on Beat Saber. Like, honestly, got nothing bad to say about it here. Let me just show you guys once again that we are, as a matter of fact, on the Shadow PC. I don't even know why this one's showing up. It's not online anymore. Let us uh, jump into the next game. Boneworks. Why not? Okay, so we are getting a, a slightly higher latency now that I put the graphics quality on high. But you could be playing on graphics quality medium. You know, that could always be nice. Um, but yeah, 52, around 54. It's like two more milliseconds of latency. Doesn't look too bad at all to me. Uh, that's generous, but let's go with it. We have dipped on FPS and on milliseconds right now. Uh, so let me tone down the graphics just a little bit. In fact, let me turn off the shadows and the texture resolution. Let me change that a little bit. So we're gonna change that to half. We're gonna save settings. 60 milliseconds in Boneworks, like when not playing a super intense game. This is actually still completely playable. Uh, this is completely playable. And that is, this is on graphics quality high. So if you turned the graphics quality down, it would be even better. But this is incredible compared to the last one that I got to try. Because after all, the last one that I got to try was in the US. This, I, I got my gaming laptop, got my coffee. Okay, guys, let's get to work. Stephanie, yeah, Stephanie, I'm talking to you. Get to work. No, 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 no. Oh, she left. Oh, God damn it. Not this again. Stephanie, you're fired. This is working really, really well. It's copyrighted. It's copyrighted. Get rid of it. So while editing, I'm noticing the black bars showing up on the side when I'm turning my head. Now, I didn't see this while gaming, so I either just didn't notice it 
or this only shows up on the recording. But either way, it wasn't obvious enough for me to notice it while gaming. I'm not sure why. Shoot, shoot, get out of here. Get out of here. So there you guys go. Boneworks working at about 90 FPS on medium graphics and graphics quality high on virtual desktop. I, I rate that as working pretty damn well, because, I mean, that's graphics quality high on virtual desktop. I feel to make it a little bit fairer on the next game, I'm going to change graphics quality to medium on virtual desktop. And I'm going to exit SteamVR. Hey, what's up, guys? How you all doing today? Okay. No, 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 no. Hey, my dude, what's up? Sorry, sir. Sir? What you did was very bad. Please apologize right now. That was very rude of you. Whoa, excuse me, lady. Very rude. See that? See that? No, 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 no. God damn it. You're coming with me now. Sir, sir. Sir, I'm sorry, but that was just, just inexplicable what you did there. You can't do that to a lady, sir. You can't just walk over her. Come with, okay? See that? Look how beautiful it is. We don't have to fight. We can just look at the beautiful, beautiful world around us, okay? See this? That's what you get. No, no, no. Oh my gosh, sir, what the hell was that? Okay, see? This is what happened. No, 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 no. That was an accident. Are you okay? Oh, you are. Okay. Um, in that case, you all look beautiful today. Yes, you all look very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Goodbye. Goodbye, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, yay. Yay! Okay guys, I must say, Blades and Sorcery works really, really well. I think right now I need to try my favorite game that I always play, because I feel it's, it's, oh, it's only fair I try this, and I mean The Forest. If I could play The Forest on the cloud, right on my Oculus Quest, I feel like that would just be absolutely incredible. So. I need to play some The Forest. So this is actually a pretty demanding game. So I can straight up tell the latency has just gone through the roof. We're currently looking at 66 milliseconds. This game is like, it's pretty intense, this one. There's a lot of entities just happening everywhere. Um, but yeah, looking, looking good. It's still enough latency to actually play the game. Like I could still comfortably play this. We're looking at about 66 milliseconds of latency. Since this game isn't, a very hyperactive, very fast paced game, that's still totally enough to play this game comfortably. Now, do remember that this is under optimal networking conditions, so I wonder what it would be like under not optimal networking conditions, and I hope that we get a chance to, uh, to check that out. And of course, as the final game, we checked out Minecraft VR, also known as Vivecraft, and this was a little bit weird, because the latency said 63, however, it did not feel like 63 at all, it felt more like 43, but that again, just could be me. The gameplay was also pretty damn smooth, rocking in at about 87 to, well, 90 FPS. And this is with everything on high, well, except for render distance, because I left that thing at its default eight chunks. But yeah, that's, I think there's nothing more to test out here right now. Like, honestly, this is just, this is great, honestly. Uh, let's, let's conclude on the chair. Okay, guys, that is absolutely unbelievable. I that is incredible. Like, it is amazing that currently, right now, this PC could have been off. In fact, yesterday when I was playing Half-Life Alex, it was off. It was actually almost pitch darkness in the room, except for uh, YouTube just going on in the background on the TV. That is incredible that you can play the most intense games without a gaming PC through the internet. Like, this is how far networking has come. And again, this is under pretty much optimal conditions. And looking outside right now, it's still raining. Do I go outside in the rain with the Oculus Quest? The answer is yes. So that just happened. Um, turns out the network speed of my mobile data in my garden is about eight megabits per second, which I probably should have tested before I tried this, but uh, yeah, so that was obviously not gonna happen. If you have eight megabits per second internet, I recommend against doing this. The truth is I can get up to about 80 megabits per second on my mobile data. In my garden, it just seems that 
things are obstructed. So when there's better weather, we're gonna go for a little walk into the woods and we're gonna try it there. So unfortunately, this is where we conclude today's video. When unfortunately, fortunately, because we have a lot of really good data to go off of. It can play Half-Life Alex, it can play Cyberpunk, it can play Blades of Sorcery, it can play Boneworks, it can play the forest. Again, we have this thing for testing, so we can test it. And we're gonna make a little series out of this where again, we test this thing to the max. We're gonna try connecting the connect to it for full body tracking through USB pass through. And we're gonna see what we can do with it. But that's going to be in the next episode because this one is already going on for long enough. So I hope I tested all the games you guys wanted me to test. If you have any more information that you want me to try out on this, let me know down in the comment section below because again, next episode will be coming. I'm so happy that we got to try this out. For now, if you got this far, Let's go do our little meme review. Now, the Reddit has been booming way too far recently. Like, it's it's just been going and going and going. You guys are just absolutely incredible. The memes are just fantastic. However, I don't think I'm going to fit all of these in today's video. There's like, there's like 15 of them. So what we're going to have to start doing is you guys are going to have to vote just like every other subreddit. You guys upvote your most liked ones. And I do four of them at the end of every video because... If I don't do that, I'm just going to have to do an entire meme review episode, which I mean, I don't mind doing, but for the end of the videos, I think four of them are good enough. So I'm going to click into top upvoted in the past 24 hours, because that's roughly how long we would have gone for. And this one has 14 upvotes. It says cuties. God damn it, guys. I thought we talked about this. This was leaked information, okay? You're not allowed to leak it. You spawn in a creepy KFC. There's a robot coming out of him. You fall in love with him. You're holding hands. This is pretty accurate. This is actually a very accurate comment. That is exactly what happened. The saga continues. Let's see who wins the war. This, I love this one. I love this one. I think I know what this is. I saw it show up on the Discord yesterday. Yes. Hopefully that excludes the copyright strike. Okay, who am I even allowed to read this? Um, and I'm gonna actually blur that word out because I don't that's I you guys use your imagination. Or maybe don't. Maybe it's better if you guys don't use your imagination. The chain must go on. Yeah, I know what this one is. However, it's a minute long, so we're not going to watch the entire thing, but it is great. I have watched it, JC. Fantastic work. Great editing. If you guys want to see it, join the subreddit. Fancy mystical. Wait, is this the same image as the other one? But this one doesn't have any weird words in it, so we can totally look at this one. And then mystical drip. Oh my god. It's this again. It's the drip. The drip is happening again, guys. I cannot believe it. So guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a like. If you guys disliked it, I guess this button works too. But please tell me why down in the comments section below. If you guys are not yet part of the community, make sure to check out our Discord down below and join that Reddit so that I can see you posting your spice memes. If you guys want to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, we've got merch, mysticalstore.com and sig mugs that boost your fps by 300 percent if you guys want to be notified about future content coming up on the channel daily make sure to smack the subscribe button with your forehead ding my bell and see you again in the next video peace